Now let's take a look at the switch details. I ordered two sets of silent switches. I purchased both of these with my own money. The silent chalk B1 ambience twilight, which are linear and 35 gram fours, and also the silent chalk B1 ambience nocturnal, which are also linear and 20 gram fours. I don't know what linear means, so if someone in the comments know, please let me know. But the folks at Beekeep also sent an additional set of switches as a gift. Those are Silent Chalk V2, Hail Deep Sea Mini Islet or Islet 43 gram fours. I like silent switches that are also soft. I think that the ambient twilight, those are the ones that are installed in both halves. I think those are good for now, but you will see later on in the video that I'm going to install the ambient nocturnal switches on the right half of the keyboard so that I can test them out. Now, the switches that were gifted to me, which are the Deep Sea Mini Eyelet, are 43 gram fours, which probably will be like the Plum Blossoms on the Club 80. Those Plum Blossoms are 45 gram fours, which are too hard for my fingers, and those cost finger pain. So. I probably will not be able to use those, but I probably will give them a try. Maybe it was due to concavity. Who knows? I'll let you know. I have a question for the audience. Why do people choose silent switches that have a higher actuation force? Is it because of the feel or what? Just let me know in the comments. Now, something that experience has taught me is that actuation force does matter and it's a major factor in finger and hand pain. I know, Vicky switches sound really cool, but if you care about your hands in the long run, do switches with the low actuation force if you can, because as you get older, your hands are gonna hurt, probably if you use or if you daily drive hard switches. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to swap the switches on this right hand side okay i'm going to use the softer switches there if you remember i ordered two sets of silent switches okay the ambience twilight which are 35 gram fours and the ambience nocturnal which are the 20 gram fours the twilight are the green ones and the nocturnal are the black ones so in this part of the video, I'm going to demo how I remove all the keycaps and switches on the right half and replace them with the ambience nocturnal, which are the softer ones. And I will let you know my thoughts after a few months. Now, be really careful. Before inserting the new switch, make sure about the orientation. The pins need to match the holes on the board. Pay attention to the letter Y because it's the only one that is backwards. Also, before inserting the new switches, make sure that they don't have their pins bent. As I demo in the video, there were a couple switches with the pins bent. If I didn't pay close attention, that could have caused a bigger problem. So just be careful with that. Both switches are silent, but with the new switches on the right, I hear the space bar. I didn't hear it before, so I replaced the switch to see if it makes a difference, and it does. 
it's more silent so i'm not sure what was going on with that other switch i can still hear the space bar a little bit compared to the green switches it's not bad or a big deal i just got used to the other one that is more silent but i don't know i think it was something with the switch itself now let's do a typing test so you can see how i type with the keyboard we're gonna be a typing a song appropriate for the name of this keyboard it's called el tucanazo by los tucanes de tijuana so let's take a look at that Now, let's do a typing sound test so we can hear the difference between the two set of switches. On the left, we have the green switches and I'm going to leave the half here on my keyboard. Remember that on the right, we have the black switches. Okay, so I'm gonna test both of them here on the desk so you can hear the difference. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm going to be switching between them so you can compare the two of them. Now we're gonna put them next to the mic so we can see how they listen. These are the green switches.
Now let's do a typing test. I'm not a fast typer. I type average, I think, around 80, 90 words per minute. So let's give it a try. Eighty eight words per minute. Not bad for my speed. I've been using this for, I don't know, two, three days now. So that's good. So if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, you can also consider becoming a member. You don't have to just like the video, leave a comment down below. Remember that all of the different podcast episodes with guests are available in all the different audio platforms like Spotify and all of those. I hope you learned something out of this video. Hope it was useful. I'll see you in the next one.